Good morning, everybody. It's Jen again. And I am in Playa del Carmen. Um, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm coming by, I think it's a uh, school. Like a, uh, yeah, for little ones. Let's see here for you. So the singing you hear is the little ones singing a song. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm um, walking the street to Playa. Actually, I'm on my way to breakfast. I'm not sure where I'm going to eat yet. And I'm going to turn walk here a little bit. I am staying kind of downtown. I said I'm at like 20 minutes. Oh, this is 20th Avenue and 20th Street, I guess. Uh, the address is here in, in well, 20th, 20th and 24th. The addresses in Mexico are kind of, they do it different. They, like, everything's by the street, and then you don't have an actual address, like a 123 Northeast, blah, blah. Um, it's very different. It's really, I think they serve breakfast. They're up and moving, but I'm not going to stop there. Mural you know, painting. Um... But it, it's, it's sort of interesting that way. So when you, like, are going to go to some place, you get the basically the cross streets <laughs> is the address they give you. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty familiar with Playa, and as long as I know, like, 20th and is, is the street my dentist is on, as long as I go to the right, which is um, up towards uh, lower number cross streets. And um, I'm at 24, they're at the other side. <laughs> I go past zero and then another block or two to get there. <clears throat> 24th is one of the few streets that actually isn't a complete grid and that's because of this park over here. You can see there's people over there with their dogs. Dogs are big in Playa, I've noticed. Um, you go down to fifth, come down, people have their, their dogs. A lot of bully breeds, a lot of um, surprisingly rare breeds. Um, I don't know why that, so that shocked me to see, you know, breeds that are more rare and stuff down in Mexico, but it does shock me. It did shock me, but now. And this is just a nice little neighborhood that I'm walking through. Look at that. More dogs. Am I in my element? Am I in my element? <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, yeah, French. We got a French bulldog. Um, definitely an English cocker. <laughs> and a Dalmatian. And uh, I don't know what that one is. Maybe y'all can tell me. Um, so anyway, I'm walking through here. And um, it, it's funny, Mexico also, it, I don't want to say people get started late. They do get started a little late. If you're up at, at 5 o'clock in the morning trying to find breakfast, it's, you're going to be a little hard-pressed to find um, it, it, much. But you'll find stuff open, but not everything. And you're definitely the street vendors are still not in bed. They're not getting up and pushing out until closer to 8 o'clock, and um, even like my dentist, um, the people will get there, start getting there about 8 or 9, their first appointments are usually around 10 o'clock in the morning, um, but they work later, and um, and that, that's kind of how it happens down here, everything's kind of delayed in the morning and pushed back to meeting. I kind of like it. I don't like very early morning getting up and having too much to do. I like to leisurely pace. So, here we are now. This is, uh, 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 what is this? This is 10th Avenue. Another couple blocks down and I will be at 5th, which is where all the touristy stuff is. But I'm not gonna go down there. I'm gonna stay on 10th and come across. Um, I hear this from people that come down. Oh, my favorite cousin, my favorite Canadian cousin, who's like walking around one day in Cosmo, and we went to an open air market. She's like, I like this, it's real Mexico. 
But of course, the place she chose to live part time in Mexico is absolutely not real Mexico. You wouldn't catch, you know, Mexico people can't afford to live there. A and B, um, it's like 60% Canadian. <laughs> like, what? I mean, I know she came mostly for the weather and for the cheap cost of living. And then she moves into where they've managed to push the cost of living up because they're all, all the Canadian and American money floating around. <clears throat> How dumb. I just, I just, I don't approve of that. Um, it's not even a really super nice area, if you ask me. Whatever. Where I live in Florida is nicer. There's the Taco Mex. This is one of my favorite haunts. Let's see. And she's just a tourist down the south Other places have a menu out front, and they, they they run it in Spanish and and English. So it's kind of a good place to visit. You don't have to know much Spanish to get by and play. I mean, you do have to remember play the Carmen Mexico in general. A lot of people don't want to be on video. Mexico in general now it's a, it's a third world country and so the infrastructure is not great it's not um, it's not going to be pretty and sanitary like a lot of American cities then again a lot of American cities are not pretty and sanitary have you been to um, New Orleans or San Francisco <laughs> it's no worse than that and it's actually a lot safer um, I mean I walk around here I mean, the, the, the dangers for me are down on Fifth Avenue with the vendors because they look at me and they see me really white walking around being all American and they're like, Target! And try to get me to buy everything. <laughs> and I've had to get real tough. I've had to get real tough and learn how to say, No! No way, sir! I'm not buying that! And I, I've had to get a little mean because they do. They play on that that American niceness. And I, you know, I was bred... bred I was raised... To be polite and to you know even even to the point of being pushed around a little bit I think. Little area. Those condos over there. I like those. They have like that nice outdoor space. Um, you know to be polite and to you know no thank you things about like and occasionally um, with the vendors you have to be like. A harsh no, <laughs> you know, no, and they'll go, oh, come on, no, no, no. Here's the other thing about uh, Playa, when you're crossing the street, you just have to kind of go. Man, the cars will not stop for you and let you go. Um, I'm not sure I want to contend with the, yeah. If, if you hesitate, you're going to, you're going to have the car go. Um, this. They would just do that. Anyway, if you just walk, they won't hit you. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But here's a bank. Pro tip, if you're in uh, Mexico or any country, really, and you need some local currency, go to the actual bank and get it. And you will always pay a fee to take money from one currency to another unless you get it that you even your home bank might charge you oh this might be a possibility um your home country bank will charge you but they won't charge you like the ATMs and um I don't see breakfast. Okay. okay. Got avocado toast. Oh, I'm I'm in that. <coughs> no, I'm not. Um, but they won't charge you the the, the high heavy fees. There's a lot of places here. They're little exchange places. They're associated with banks. Um, 
they will give you their they, they they publicize the exchange rate on the sign, and you can make your decision from there. They charge fees there, and the fees are a little bit high. So I mean, if you're desperate, go ahead and do that. Um, if you can get away with not having that and you can find a a regular bank, the whole bank, um, you're better off. So, that's how that works. But, um, I'm probably going to end up, oh, we should spa massages. Maybe I can get a massage for you. Who knows? Yes. Da, da, da. And also, when, when in Mexico or any Spanish-speaking country, um, buenos dias is better than hola, unless they say hola. <laughs> At least I have found. Okay, so here's the exchange rate listed and how much they charge to exchange at uh, the CI Banco. And that is cheaper than what they charge. Uh, or the better than what they charge at the little kiosk places, like the smaller ones. Here's the where they publicize the exchange rates. Wow, that's not, it's not good right now. It's just not good right now for exchange rates. Um, Fifteen nine. What? So, yeah, <laughs> Canada's way down. <laughs> I find that amusing. Um, yeah. No, am I, am I really mad at my cousin from Mandango Cafe? The best coffee. Oh, no. Am I, am I angry with it? Yes, I'm angry. Still angry. I, you know, it, it hurts. I'm so hurt that they could act like that, that they would put their political bullshit, that, that that's their identity, is their political bullshit. The whole world has different beliefs. I live in a different country. I'm not going to believe like you. <laughs> but anyway, um, this might be good. I think I don't want to eat at the place where the man is taking gold out of his nose. Did you see that? I don't know. Sorry, man. I, I, sometimes I just see things and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I can't do that. No, we can't do that. Um, police are everywhere here. And I find that, I find that um, comforting in a way, being, being a single female walking around by myself. You also see people in military uniforms and with the big guns. <laughs> Which the first few times I was down here was a little disconcerting to see that. Um, especially, especially around fifth, and anytime you go into like Walmart, um, and they, they have these little masks they pull up in front of their face because most of them are like 17 or 18, I think. They look so young. <clears throat> but you know, the big danger here, not just the cars. Yeah, and uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Uh, OXXOs are like a 7-Eleven kind of place. They have 7-Eleven also, but the OXXOs seem to be nicer to me. I, I, there are a couple of 7-Elevens that I know of and have been to. <laughs> All the pharmacies are like, they say pharmacy, but it's not, I mean, pharmacy means something completely different down here. Then it does, does in um, the U.S. In the U.S., all you, it's all your prescription drugs and da da da. Here you can get pretty much whatever you want. Um, don't have to do anything. This looks promising. Is it in English? Yeah, okay. Classic Christmas tortillas, I have a green rib sauce, new mama, baby, and tomato sauce. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm being really picky this morning, I don't know why. It's just that, ah, we'll keep walking. Oh, 
This is kind of fun. This is, uh, they have a, a show and disco over here. I've never been. I walk by it all the time. No, it's really dope. Dope. It's been fun. They have, that's supposed to be a really good steakhouse. I have not eaten there. Oh, well, yeah. So I'm up on the street. Hotel. I have not stayed here. I mean, <coughs> I've stayed at the tower a few times. I've stayed at a few different hotels here. I, my, you know, people are like, oh, can you recommend a good hotel? Not really. You know, I mean, it depends on, it depends on you. Um, how you know? That's really a cute place over there. Um, it depends on you. I mean, some people are really, really super picky. I am not. As long as it's clean, I'm good. Um, as long as the door locks, I'm good. I uh, couldn't get the hot water to work at one place I stayed at, you know, down by the beach. And that was annoying because it was just cool enough that I wanted a hot shower. Um, yeah. Well, you can see it's like... Ooh, coffee makes me feel good too. Okay. I love coffee. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Fair warning: the coffee in Mexico and and Honduras are like way stronger than you get in the U.S. At, at most places. I mean, if you're like a Starbucks coffee fan, you know, all this good stuff you can find that here. You're gonna find Starbucks here. You can find that stuff here. But if you just go to the restaurant and order coffee, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be strong do that in Honduras, it's like doubly strong. They like their coffee very, very, very strong. So. Anyways, I think I have a restaurant in mind. I think I'm going to end up there. I like to try new places. Let's see, that looks like it. That looks like kind of promising. Where am I? I'm going to Street. Yes. Sometimes they look at you like, oh no, I don't want to look at you. And that's fine too. Okay, so anyway, that's my morning stroll. I think I'm going to have breakfast here. I don't know <coughs> <coughs> what exactly they have yet, but most places have that same thing. They centralize, blah, blah, blah. This looks just kind of cute and they have a nice indoor area. So I will post this and. Um, yeah, probably they'll come in. This is the, the, uh, not the real tourist area. It's still close to the tourist area, but it's not the real tourist area. I'll get the, I'll walk down fifth on my way back and see if I can show you the difference. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Ciao.